So once the diagnosis is made, it actually depends on what part of the immune system is involved as to how we manage them. So the most common immunodeficiency um, in the world is um, malnutrition, actually. So we like to make sure that patients are well-nourished and they're, and they're getting what they need because sometimes just getting them the right nutrition and following um, with a pediatrician can be helpful. The second, um, but if the patient has a problem in their immune system and it's not just an environmental factor, uh, the uh, most common problem is, is making antibodies. And we know um, that antibodies are our immune system's memory to help us remember an infection and fight it fast so it doesn't cause a lot of problems in our organs. And so we can actually replace those antibodies. Uh, generous citizens donate their plasma and um, many companies like um, my partnership with CSL Bearing in bringing awareness to Immune Deficiency Week take that plasma and pull out the antibodies and then we can give it back to patients as a regular infusion um, for them to be able to have their, their own citizens in the community help them stay protected. Sometimes we use antibiotics to protect our patients. And then patients with very severe immune deficiency might require biologic medications to balance their immune system and help with autoimmune manifestations. And then patients with severe combined immune deficiency or commonly known as the bubble boy disease um, actually might need a bone marrow transplant to change out their immune system for a new one. So there's a wide, wide variety of treatment options out there. Our treatment toolbox is growing with the advances in medicine that we've made in the last 10 or 15 years. And that's a, this is a really exciting time to be in immunology and treat our patients. Um, but the key is early diagnosis and getting to the right specialist who can manage that collection of therapies to give our patients a better quality of life. It is when patients are diagnosed with PI, I will say that the immunologist is the captain of the ship. Um, but this is a team sport. And since we know that our um, patients have disease in some of their other organs, we partner with our college, colleagues and other specialties to co-manage these patients on a regular basis. So it really takes a, a village to help us manage these patients. But the most important thing is getting to an, a clinical immunologist um, or an allergist immunologist that sees primary immune deficiency patients so that the right tests can be sent to properly diagnose the patient so we can think about the right therapies to start as soon as possible. Mm -hmm.